have a way of impacting our lives. It brings us pain when our team loses and joy when they win. But for Madison Flores, the sport of volleyball had a much bigger impact after learning some challenging news at just the age of four. I mean, she was just so little and she was just full of life and it was just so heartbreaking to see her, you know, just change so much. I mean, to go from this active, just, you know, just a very, very active little four-year-old and then suddenly things just changed and she just wasn't herself anymore. Well, I had leukemia. Madison underwent treatments, but her mom wanted a way to get her back to her active self, and that's when she came across Friends with Jacqueline, a company with a mission to help pediatric cancer patients, and to her surprise, she got set up with UTRGV Volleyball. When we found out that it was the UTRGV uh, volleyball team that um, was going to adopt the girls, I was just thrilled because I was like, yay, I get to go back to my school. And so I started telling the girls all about it and, you know, that their dad also came to school here. And we're just talking about our experiences. And they were so thrilled to visit the campus and learn from it. So I took them on a tour. <laughs> Both want to come here when they get older. and. And so they're like, I, I just thought it was wonderful that this school was the one that chose them. For coach Todd Lowry, it didn't take long for him to say yes because he already knew about the Friends with Jacqueline program. It, it's kind of ironic because last year we were actually traveling on the road and I think we were at Bakersfield and I watched the special on HBO about the program and I remember going home to my wife and I was like, this is the stuff that we need to expose our girls to and this is the stuff that we need to be doing in the community. So when they actually reached out to us, um, I think it was earlier in the spring, um, at the end of the spring semester, I was like, yes, of course we want to do it. And, and it just kind of all fell in place really quickly. Madison had her own signing day with the team where she was able to hang out with the girls and snag a sweet jersey for her sister Allison and herself. She told us about the signing day and what was going to happen and why it was happening. And so then I met her on the signing day and we all got to meet her and we talked for a while before she signed. We were all sitting with her and then after I stayed for like an hour and a half and just sat with her and got to know her a little better. Not only is this program changing Madison's life, but it's also changing the Vaqueros. Our girls, I, I think it's gonna, it brings them back down to earth and, and really see how blessed they are to be able to play as a college athlete and do things on a day-to-day -day basis that sometimes we take for granted. And I think that was one of our, our goals and, and us partnership um, with it was not just to give Madison a, a support group, but also for our girls to learn and, and kind of step outside of themselves sometimes. And I think already we've seen that with, with the girls. They're so excited to do whatever they can to put one ball over just to see her get that, that excitement. And, and I think that's the stuff that we really want to gain from it. In January, Madison was declared cancer free and she remembers one thing from that day. And because I ring the bell. But her mom remembers a totally different day. We were just waiting and waiting and praying for that day when we finally got the results and they showed that she was clear. We were just so thrilled. We just, we were, we just didn't know how to celebrate. We were like, okay, what are we going to do? How are we going to, you know, and pictures galore and we're just, we're just spoiling her rotten. <laughs> and we went to the clinic that day and she got to ring the bell. She wore her superhero outfit and took lots of pictures and we had cake and it was just amazing. Madison doesn't know what the future holds with volleyball, but maybe one day we'll see her back in a Vicaro's jersey. For the WAC Digital Network, I'm Rachel Vigil.